Yes, I'm still Monica John, your teacher, P4. I'm still taking you through crop growing or growing crops. And we are still looking at ways of caring for crops. Before we do that, what do I expect from you in this lesson of today? One, before we look at those things that I expect from you, I left you with the, an activity that, you, you, that uh, you, you, you had answered very well. So check your answers together with mine. And if yours is not matching with mine, you cross it and then you write a correct one. The first activity was mention the method of planting crops. Methods of planting crops, we have raw planting and broadcasting. Give anyone advantage of raw planting. Why do people carry out raw planting? It eases weeding, it eases harvesting, and many more, the way we discussed last time. Name the garden tool used in raw planting. We said we use a garden line, a string which has got a peg, and then you take it to the garden and use it to, make, to, to carry out raw planting. Identify one advantage of using broadcasting method. We said one, it saves time. Now, in my new lesson, what do I expect from you? One, you'll mention the ways of caring for crops in the garden. You are going to look at, you are going to define for me pruning. You give me the advantages of pruning. And the next one, you will be able to mention the tools used in pruning. Can you discuss with your friend or your brother who is sitting there or your cousin? I know you are very many in the room, but ask one of them, how do we care for crops? Try to discuss, how do we care for crops? Ask, 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 how do we care for crops? That's good. One, check your answers with mine. One of the ways is by watering, spraying, weeding, thinning, pruning, mulching, staking, hardening off, and many more. So try to check your answers with mine. Because I told you to ask someone there. How do we care for crops in the garden? These are the ways. Now, members, we are going to look at one at a go, and we see the advantages and disadvantages of doing that activity and what helps one to carry out that activity. Let's look at, um, mm, let's look at the first one is pruning. What is pruning? When somebody take, test, uh, talks about pruning, what does he mean? What is pruning? Try to ask someone there, what is pruning? Thank you. You have discussed and you have come up with the answer. Share it with mine. What is pruning? Mine says, pruning is the removal of excess branches from a plant. Pruning is the removal of excess branches from a plant. Like when you find you have grown your crops, but you find many of them are many, a plant has grown, it has many branches. If it has many branches, know that that plant is going to produce low yields. The, number two, if it has many branches, some pests can hide in the branches and the leaves. Two, uh, another one is some branches might hide the pests that will attack the crops. And another thing is those, those branches might be too heavy for the plant to stand in the space properly. So what do you do to control all those problems? We have mentioned about a plant having many uh, branches. It will make that plant that when it has it, it it is overweight when the plant is overweight it can break and you lose so what you do you carry out pruning 
Repeat after me. This is the removal of excess branches from a plant. Good. Now these are these are some of the, the, these are some of the activities that are taking place. This person here is trying to prune his plant. He's trying to prune the excess branches. He's removing the excess branches. Now let's see. Uh, the, 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 let's look at the tools used for planting. We have what you call a yes, seca tools. Seca tools. Spell with me seca tools. S E C A T E U R S. Seca tool. It looks like that one that that person is holding. This is not a pair of scissors, but it is called a seca tool that is used for pruning. Another, another uh, tool, some people use what you call a pruning saw. A pruning saw. Like to to prune, <coughs> to prune a coffee that has hard branches that are hard. They use a pruning saw. So what are the advantages of pruning? One, it reduces the weight of a plant. Pruning reduces the weight of a plant. It increases the crop yields. If, if you have a mango at home, which has many branches, it will give you very few mangoes. Very few mangoes and the smaller ones. But the moment you prune, you will see a man, a, a, that mango plant producing a bigger fruit that you can't eat and finish alone. Then, another thing, it destroys the hiding places for pests. There are some, some pests, like monkeys, like fruits so much. When it climbs and hides inside uh, up on up in the what in the mango tree to eat everything and you won't get it. Even caterpillars can hide in different branches. So if you don't prune, they will be affected by those uh, pests. So these are some of the reasons or uh, advantages carried out uh, that, that people people look at before they carry out pruning. So I'm going to leave you with an activity that you are going to answer and then properly, sit properly, sit alone. Don't sit with somebody who is going to shake you because I need a very good handwriting. Join the letters very well. I love you. Thank you for listening to me.